Hello, my name is Erica and I'll be bringing our devotion today. There's a song that we sing at Christmas time and the first, first verse says this. Sky is filled with the glory of God. Triumphantly, the angels sing. Rejoice, good news, a saviour is born and life will never be the same. Other carols refer to this good news as glad tidings. There was something happening on that night all those years ago, the first Christmas night that had the angels filling the skies, singing triumphantly as if they'd won a victory. Their song was a declaration of victory. It was a rejoicing, a glory of celebration of something that was happening in the heavenlies that was reaching down to mankind. Not just mankind in that moment to those shepherds on that hillside, but spanning all of the generations that would ever come after them, not just in Bethlehem, but throughout the world, all the generations, all the world. The good news then, still the good news now. Now our newspapers and broadcasting and Twitter feeds would tell you that there is no good news in the world at all. Everything is really, really heavy. It talks about everything that is bad that is happening around us. The broken NHS or the strikes, the cost of living crisis. Terrible things that have happened like the crush at the Brixton concert or the boys so tragically killed in the lake just this last week. The war in Ukraine, the outbreak of Covid in China, the situation in Iran. The world would tell you that there's no good news anywhere out there. The angels singing on that first Christmas night came to a broken sad world too. Some scholars suggest that the birth of Jesus that the angels were singing about occurred during or near a truly dreadful time in the history of what was already a troubled and turbulent land. It wasn't peaceful then. Christmas is also a time when the bad news stories of our own personal lives can seem all the more real. Relationship breakdown, grief, loneliness, fear seem all the more near at Christmas time. Those shepherds would have had understanding of that too. And yet it was to them, in that darkness, that the angels came with their declaration, their triumphant declaration, their victorious declaration. Rejoice, there is good news. To you, living in the land of darkness, there is something worth getting excited about, something worth getting triumphant about. There is reason to celebrate. I love good news. I love it when you hear stories of loved ones that have beaten cancer or when you hear of the arrival of a baby, a long awaited baby. When you get the news that someone has got the job of their dreams or when you hear amazing stories of obstacles overcome. Good news of miraculous provision or protection. Good news of reconciliation. Good news is just the best. Well, in that night, this was all the best kind of good news that would ever come. Good news, a saviour is born and life really will never be the same again. In the manger you'll find a baby and he is God's gift of good news to you. The angel's triumphant rejoicing was the proclamation of the forgiveness of sin. It was the proclamation of adoption into God's family and all the security that that brings. It was about victory restored relationship with God and with each other and the gloriousness of reconciliation. So it's no wonder that the angels went rushing off to find this good news, to search for him, wouldn't you? But for them, I don't believe the story stops there. It's very difficult not to hide the fact that we've received good news. It's very difficult not to display it all over your face with a really big smile and a glint in your eye and a can't keep it good news to yourself. It would have shone on their faces. It would have been in their excited chatter as they told their friends and their family what they'd seen and what they'd heard. Rejoice, good news, good news, a saviour is born and life will never be the same again. So the angels came with their good news. And the angels have come to us with the good news of Jesus. And I suppose the challenge really this Christmas is, what do we do with the good news that we've received? It's a challenging thought. To proclaim good news like 
the angels did, or like Jesus did, is to announce in our words and actions the truth of who God is, to show it on our face. To announce in words and actions the truth of who God is, who we are because of who God is to us. And what's really real because of who God is and what God has done. May we proclaim the good news of Jesus in our words and our actions. May we display it all over our faces this Christmas time. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you that you are the good news, the gift of God to our dark world. The angels got it so right in their triumphant declaration. Rejoice, good news, a saviour is born and life will never be the same. I pray that you will help us by your Holy Spirit to live in the glorious light of the good news we've received, to be revived and refreshed by it in a world that would want to drag us back into darkness, would want us to live in the dark. May we live in the glorious light of your good news. And as the angels did all those years ago, may we never draw back from triumphantly proclaiming that Jesus is our saviour and life will never be the same again. Amen. Happy Christmas, folks. <laughs>